Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival This, and we return to Wave the Hunter, the Matariki Park DLC, where we're hopefully going to have the last bits of the uh, story stuff all covered for the DLC, and then we're going to be able to get back into free hunting and trying to get a few things done there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've grabbed the hunting map already. Yeah, already grabbed that. So our objective today is to try to get a male sick deer, Sika, Sika, a uh, two-star male. Now, I haven't actually come across the uh, sick deer all that much. I've been trying to find them. Where is the vehicle? Oh, right. I kind of left, left it way off in the middle of nowhere there. I've heard them making all kinds of calls, and I have been around the area here before, but... Now I'm not having as much luck for finding any. It only seems to be when you're not looking for it, that's when it's all over. And then as soon as you change focus, they just vanish on you. But yeah, I've got at least one need zone for them. And it looks like it's to the watering spot over here. Oh, and I do have over that way as well. So you know what? We're going to head back that way. Once we get the story stuff done, I do want to switch back to trying to get better with the compound bow. I think I've... I've got a little bit of a better strategy, I think, of how to try going about it, and we still do have a lot of, like, side missions and stuff we could try working at, too. I might even actually want to see about trying to use, uh, one of the animals on the map for a little bit of practice, too, which is all the little... Ooh, hang on a moment. All the little hares and rabbits that are about. Okay, well, I've got pigs running over there. I want to see what those are, because those could actually be what we're looking for up there. Yeah, I know the pigs are running off scared, as long as they don't frighten this group off. I almost want to say they could be fallow deer, because of the way the antler shape is on the one I've got right in the reticle there. They kind of got, like, these more spread out, almost shovel-like uh, shaping to it. And that... I couldn't get a good glimpse of what that was. Oh. Okay, those are just whitetail going, so I'm not going to worry about them. Oh, see, that's odd. Some whitetail... Some of them ran and others just didn't care at all. I'm going to work at trying to get a better look at this group. I don't want to run because in a hunting game, running is basically your way of making sure everything around you picks you up and flees in an instant. So I'm going to just try keeping upright with walking. And yeah, because they're on the move in the same direction I am, I'll basically have to tr tail them for a little bit until I can get close enough. The wind is thankfully though blowing a little bit to our right from where we're looking, so we shouldn't have to worry about that giving us away. It's just that I'm not quite getting close enough yet to... Yeah, I'm really thinking this is a group of fallow. But truth be told, I don't actually... I know they can be on this map, but I think I have encountered them as, like, the rarest and... Well, I wouldn't say rare, but the one I've seen the least on... Yeah, that is a group of fallow. Uh, there is a two-star adult right at the back there. So it kind of makes me wonder what the big one up front there is. Oh, that's a three-star mature. Okay, yeah, see, we're quite a ways... Oh, actually... Uh, I wonder if I should try for him. Yeah, I figured I'd try. I think, though... That might not have been the strongest shot needed for it. I probably should have gone for a tier 6 with the distance out. But you know what? We'll start off with trying and get something. And a 3 star is still not too bad to snag. Uh, will I taxidermy it? You know what? Maybe I will just for the sake of it is it like 3 star or better we will taxidermy. I haven't been really going for anything trophy wise but... It might not hurt just get a few things to be able to toss into this lodge on the map. That's just some white tailed deer tracks. That and we are kind of working into this big center area that possibly if we work eastwards, we'll be able to get a better chance for the Sika or at least hear them calling out again. 
Well, it's after the, uh, uh, that one Rocky Mountain elk, we heard a bunch of calls from Sick-A-Deer. Oh, and speaking of elk again, ah, uh, this is all need zone for them. But God, like, the variety of animals is just so weird to think of for, like, a place like New Zealand. Like, it's imported so much from all around the world that it just would... S it has to be so weird if you actually do get about into the uh, wilderness or out of the major cities. It's like, you have a mix of animals from all over the continent. Well, no, I shouldn't say continent. All over the globe. All in really, really different sizes, shapes, and... Like, imagine if you found fossils, like, thousands of years in the future, and perhaps, like, everything's extinct on New Zealand that's there now... What kind of fossil diversity you would have from there? And like, how would you try explaining... Oh yeah, there's the... Yeah, animal survive. I had a feeling it would. So I'm going to crouch and we're going to try following down along where it went. But unfortunately, it looks like the wind is going to be helping them out. So I think the next shot will probably be using a tier 6 rifle. I'll have to check and see where the shot landed. The problem is when it's at the 250 mark for uh, distance out, zeroing basically jumps from 200 to 300 meters. So I've got to try to read a little bit better when it comes to knowing uh, aiming higher or lower. I think I tried to go more like center mass to try for the lung, but that probably meant I might have aimed too high and just got embedded into the shoulder. I don't know how far uh, the fallow would have ran off. I see a pig out there. I know the tra uh, the blood trail was leading down this way. I still do wish they would implement some kind of active track system. Even if it's only for once you've wounded an animal. That sets it that you see all the tracks and trail left behind of that one. So you can at least try to clean up if you do, again, make a bad shot like I do. As it doesn't really feel good to have, okay, messed up the shot, you can follow the trail for a bit, but then it completely tapers off, and you might as well just try coming back either the next day, or you have to do a lot of guesswork into trying to figure out the habit of, okay, where did the group with that one go? Oh, well, there are rabbits over this way. Oh, okay, so we got sick over this way, so you know what? Might as well follow over to this direction. And I'll probably just use the tier 6 for the sake of making sure if we do see one we can... Oh. Okay, that's who we're looking for right there. Now, we may scare off what we're after, but this should be... Yeah, that was an easy shot to take. It's basically exactly... I wouldn't say exactly 200 meters, but it was close enough... No? Okay, I think that's a Sika up there. So it looks like they're quite a bit larger than the other species. I'm just going to wait and see what he's doing, because he kind of... AI's looking like it's a little broken there, because it's like a lot of circling. Yes, yeah, so now come back this way. And then probably going to stop and say, no, I want to go back the other way. And now, no, now I want to go that way. No, I want to go... I guess because of how steep the slope is, it's kind of hard for it to register what it's trying to do. At least with that uh, fallow cleaned up, we don't have to worry about trying to come back to find it again. And it did take us into a decent direction for trying to figure out, uh, or at least try and get a better sighting for the Sitka. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of movement. Oh, that's it. I'm surprised how much noise the rabbits make to move around, but I guess that's... I think it does make sense in video game to make them pretty noisy, so that way you can actually, like... Try to be able to make out where they are if you can't see them visually. 
I was like, with the tall grass and this, and trying to... Ooh. No, no, I guess just like some bugs or something flying by. With grass being as tall as it is here on this map, you do want to have so the players do have a little bit of extra means of being able to pick up the animals, considering the senses the animals are working with. I think all the senses the animals have to go off are your sight, sound, scent... Yeah, just those three, but the player only really has sight and sound they have to, like, help them out. So I don't think it's bad giving a little bit of exaggeration to possibly things like, again, rabbits, hares that are so small it's hard to see them, but you can at least hear them moving around. It's kind of the balance of... You might not want it to be super realistic in order to keep the gameplay fun and engaging. Uh, yeah, here is who we took down. Oh. Uh, uh, see, I'm kind of tempted actually to take a look at the one mission I've got as well to go after wild boar. So I think I've gotten feral pigs down for that criteria, but there were wild boar I still had to get for it as well. well you've actually got, I'm not sure it's because of like, your age, but you might have a bit of an interesting coat to you. Okay, so first shot... Actually, I'm surprised the animal survived this with going into both lungs. I guess it just didn't have the energy to put it down. But then shot two... Yeah, this is where I decided to make sure to seal the deal and just clear right through. But I am really surprised shot one was not considered like a lethal shot, given how it went through both lungs. It's, it's actually not even too that it was, like, only through a little bit of them. Because, like, that almost pierced right through the entire second lung as well. I questioned that one on if it's a, uh, what it was. Yeah, hunt rating went down because of the two shots. You know what? I'll just sell that one off. And just so I can get the story stuff out of the way, I'm going to leave the wild boar back there. And kind of go to the direction that we had heard the sick deer calling. I don't know if it was just the one member of a group, or I could get lucky and find more up this way. But yeah, all their tracks are pointing up this way, so hopefully they aren't too spooked with the shot I took. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit of sound from there, but it is a ways off, so they shouldn't be uh, too alerted to me. I think if I can actually get to the top of the hill and look out, I may be able to see this, what made that. Is this where they've been feeding? No, this is actually Whitetail Rest Zone. Hmm. I guess some of the animal paths do cross over each other a fair bit. Okay, that's just the wild boar there. There's whitetail tracks. Ah, uh, the Sika I have kind of lost. But I did say they were like 200 out, so I think I should be fine to try climbing up the hill here and get some more elevation. I do like, though, that for a lot of the story missions... They seem to have been giving pretty lax for what you need to complete them. Like, this is only having to go after a two-star for the rating, and it doesn't have, like, a specific age rating. That way it feels a little easier, too, if you do want to focus and get this stuff done. It's not going to be super difficult, or it shouldn't be too difficult to be able to stay steadily at it. And then that way, if you want to do your uh, herd management and such... Ooh, that could be our sick deer, or it could be whitetail. I can't really see any of the antlers all that well to tell. But it's the only lead I've got, so you know what? We're going to start working our way over there. Oh, I should be able to know in just a moment, because, yeah, we're getting closer to that one there. I think our view range for, like, when Hunter Sense picks up is, like, 275 or 2... Okay, it's not 275, because we're getting close to that. So maybe it's 270. Yeah, that's Whitetail. Okay. 
thought that might have been them. So we have white tails over to the east. Yep, we got something making some noise up ahead. It's not too far out. Oh, there you are. Okay, good news is we found a Sitka. Bad news is it's only a one star, so it's not going to be what we need. But I do want to check the encyclopedia. As I think they could be... Uh, do, do Sitka, Sitka. They are a five, uh, tier five. And it looks like this might just be one all on his own. So I'm going to bring it down to 100. There we go. And I think I am getting better with the heart shot placements. And you know what? These guys... Yeah, everybody got... They all got alerted, but they're not spooked. So I think as long as I don't move, they might just uh, stay still and possibly calm down. And the reason why, as much as I'm not after the Whitetail, I'm going to let them do that, is because that will probably also mean once they calm down, anything else that's been alerted and is on, like, watch, will calm down too, and then I can go collect what we got. Yeah, now we'll go get that. I think that is also our very first Sitka harvest for our time on the map, too. But then from here, I do not know where I'll go walking to. I might go up the hill. I mean, as much as it's a bit of a bad decision because the wind is blowing that direction. Take a look. Maybe I should actually try going more eastwards. Because, like, it was trying for that Rocky Mountain Elk where I did have a lot of other Sika calls coming from. So maybe I will walk against the wind for a while to the east. I'm just going to go a little slow still until I possibly hear anything else, although... Ah, you know what, I'm just going to walk and pick this up. There it is. As long as I have the zeroing uh, pretty close, I think I've gotten down where to aim to try to get the heart shots more steadily. Oh, never mind. This wasn't even a hard shot. This was, I guess, just double lung that was... I guess because we were at a closer distance with this shot, there was more energy to do more damage for... Well, I guess it was right through. It was... Yeah, it went right through. We were able to do that, and that counted as, like, a kill shot. But we will sell you off. And, uh, to do... Yes, that's all... No, I heard something... Odd there, but I don't know what that was. Huh, I'm not even seeing any, uh, like Hunter Sense stuff going off. I do very much like the way, uh, way Hunter's done the Hunter Sense. Like having it so it can be a complete toggle where when you're in that mode to try to help you out. I think it is probably one of the best ways I've seen done for, like, trying to do tracking and such. Like, I know the Hunter Classics little Hunter Mate. I mean, I've talked and gone into each of the things, like, the Hunter Classic. I'm pretty sure I've talked about, uh, Way of the Hunter as well. But yeah, this little toggle, just being able to have it so if you don't want to use it all, you could. Or if you want it and with the extra help and all the accessibility settings is really great. Okay, you know what? Let's check this out. As I do have another animal path. Oh, we have a little bit of a feed zone here. I think that's possibly some... I heard... I'm hearing some stuff that I guess isn't actually animal noise. Or isn't like calls or stuff pick up. Okay, they rarely come here to eat, but at least we found one meat zone. I guess I'm just hearing the tr Okay. 
Now, I did say I wanted to work east, so you know what? I'm going to do a little bit more southeast than cut up north. That way, the wind should stay rather unproblematic, and I can work getting up at the hills first, and then looking out from there. Which, yeah, when I do get the turn to... Um... Okay, we got a few things rather spread out. I think they are still more whitetail. But depending on if we don't see anything, maybe as I cut my way north, we'll take another scope just to see. Uh, once I do go back to try and use the compound bow, I'm going to try to keep using the uh, three sight on it. I still don't understand exactly why we sometimes see the uh, reticle when we are zoomed in with the scope turn colors. Like, a lot of the times, it's gold. Sometimes, though, it does have magenta. So I don't know if the magenta coloring means this has the energy to be a kill shot or what that entails. I, it could well be explained in the encyclopedia, and I just didn't give it a good enough read to check and make sure that's, like, what it's saying. But I'm kind of leaning that might be the explanation for her what the color shift means. Yeah, okay, so we gotten up here. Uh, I'm getting a lot of visibility. The only problem is I don't really see all that much. But, you know what, there is this group here that does have a need zone there, so you know what, I am going to keep cutting this way. And I think if I can stay up top here, maybe even get onto this little ridge line so I can see down this other side of the hill. That way we have a little bit of a view on both sides. And again, the wind shouldn't be a problem for quite a while. And actually, that... Yeah, that's kind of around the area we had come across the Himalayan Tar. I didn't even realize we had Shamwa behind us. I wonder where they... Well, they probably moved into the area, but I'm wondering if maybe, like, they were down, uh... Trying along, like, some of the little divots between a lot of these hills and such. I'm not really seeing too much around here. Again, I don't exactly want to go for a run, so I think we'll just kind of keep walking. <sighs> See about trying to hit the top of that and get another little view around us. I do know we have a fair bit of side stuff we can work at, because I think there are at least two regions where it looks like you have to unlock the hunting permission. So those usually are pretty easy to go for. They don't ask for a lot of criteria. You just hunt these species in either these certain areas or these certain sizings. Anything that does, like, per count as, like, progression or unlocking map has all been pretty accessible and shouldn't take too long to do if you do focus that as your objective. It's more like, say, the side missions that are just, like, postings on a board. Like, I know on Tick Moon Plains, there's still that five-star warthog to try to get. So I guess it was, maybe they were trying to figure out the balance of, okay, we want to have some stuff be easy to go for, but we also want to have some stuff be challenging or it'll take them time too, so. Having it so that way anything that does unlock progression or area, or just is an unlock in general, easier to handle as long as you focus it, and anything else is more like for uh, extra credits or funds or etc., then we'll crank difficulty up. So it's completely optional if you want to. Go for it. Okay, let's see, though. Uh, it doesn't really look like anything around those areas. I keep... Okay, that's just a log or something. I'm not a spot for it, but whatever. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything in... Ooh, I stand corrected. We do have something in the pine forest. Uh, it's a ways out. I can't really tell from here. I almost want to say more whitetail. But they might actually be Sitka. I think it's because the antlers are so small. I shouldn't say small, but the shape isn't well-defined. looks like they're just kind of like, uh, almost like twig antlers. 
It's just like a couple little sticks up and a little point here or there. So I'm thinking either Young Whitetail, that's only like a one star, or possibly Sitka. I'll keep that marked and just take a check over this way as well. I saw something different over there, but I guess it's just the uh, coloration of like the far object, how that's showing. I also kind of wonder, though, given how New Zealand is, aren't wouldn't a lot of these deer populations be like pretty exploded, or is it just that there's such an avid hunting population that everything is kept in check? Because I'm fairly sure New Zealand does not have anything predatory uh, when it comes to like game species, unless there are things that like were imported too. But like for the variety that this map offers. Which I'm fairly sure is a reflection of just, like, New Zealand's offerings in real life, too. I have to imagine the populations would have, like, nothing really keeping them low. Aside from, like, human control. Okay, so... Out here, I think this is around the area where, when I was trying for that uh, Rocky Mountain elk, we were working quite a bit through... I don't see anything, so I'm going to head off to the mark we've got made up to the north. Oh, sorry, to the east. I really should check the compass before I try to say a direction. Okay, I can still see them from here, but I think I'm going to try to go diagonal path, because it looks like that has a pretty nice view window. Oh, and actually you can see the animal path right along there, for that leads towards them. One thing I'm also kind of thinking of, uh, for like when I do get towards free hunt trying with a bow, is I think I actually have to take a lesson from carnivores. And one, and that lesson is that when I use the collars, okay, we do have sick of deer, and we do have, okay, I'm going to try to work us in, try to keep in this corridor, because it kind of looks like that's my best view window down to where it is. I don't want to go too quickly because I'm going to try to get for uh, 200. Oh, perfect. You just stay right there and enjoy a little nap. That is actually perfect for us. Let me see if I can get to the 200 meter mark. But the issue I'm seeing here is as we're getting closer, there is that rise kind of in the way. So I might have to try more for... Yeah, see, like, there's magenta and then it goes gold. It's so like, what does that mean? Is that supposed to be it's going to be a hit, or it wouldn't be? Okay, it does say the energy would be good there. Ooh, my bad. Uh, see, if I go further, I'm going to have the back end in the way, so I think I gotta try. Okay, there's at least a hit on it. And it does look like a sizable little bit from where we are here. I was like, that is still 200 meters out, so my guess is... It might be, it'll... At least one lung hit, and I'm hoping it's going to be... It'll expire, but it'll take a little while. It sh I think it's better than the fallow deer hit. But we've got to go and see. But yeah, if I did try coming closer... It wouldn't have been until I hit this little lip here... That I probably would have been able to get a clear shot. No, oh, and there's actually another sick of deer down there. I wouldn't have been till. Oh yeah, where would I have been until I would have gotten a clear shot again? Because well, it's still blocked. It wouldn't be too bad yet. It looks like about maybe 120 meters out would have been where. Yeah, I think I would have had to be about 120. And with how I've been pretty bad with the animals picking me up. And, like, uh, trying to sneak closer. Maybe that was the smart... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, something just in my throat for a moment there. Ah. 
Oh, because I was saying... I might not have been able to get in close with how I've... Oh, I've been picked up by the animals and I try sneaking in for better uh, shots and closer distances. Uh, I don't know what happened there, just... Something caught in the throat pretty bad. Oh. Okay, maybe it's not as good as I thought since it looks like it's... Ah, <sighs> should have just gone for the tier 6. Because now I've got to try to follow up where these ran off to. Might as well at least pick up this need zone, whatever it is, and then go from here. Okay, they come here off neat, which is good. Let me... <clears throat> yeah, it sounds like there's still a little something stuck there. My apologies for that. Okay, so that's the most recent blood stain I've got. Here's some more. Uh, just trying to see. It looks like it might have even been turning more to the left, but... Ah, uh, that might have been it. <laughs> okay, hopefully that clears everything out. But yeah, I'll have to try to figure this out. Uh, there is another group of sick apparently. So maybe I'll try seeing there, but it really makes me wish I knew... Actually, let me check the encyclopedia quickly. It's <laughs> <sighs> like, there's gotta be a description for like what the... Uh... Uh, zeroing, aiming... Okay, well, here's something here. If you shoot distance of 150 with firearm sorry 100, bolt will fly lower. You must aim higher, compensate for offset. Yeah, so I've got to remember that. And nothing about the uh, coloration for that yet. So maybe it's in Hunter Sense and Ballistics identification. Uh, point of impact, I think, is just like the little gold circle we see. Energy, we usually see that in the top right. But yeah, I don't know what the, uh... The coloration change means. Ah, <coughs> mm. uh, maybe some... I'll have to look it up and... S oh. Oh, well, I thought I had stayed still and wasn't moving at all. So unfortunately, something... Uh, it might have been a sick deer, but I don't know if that was what we've heard calling or not. I think I'm going to have to go slow and try to mine the uh, binoculars a fair bit more here. But yeah, I... It has a few things that, I mean, it has been a while since I played through uh, the tutorial stuff to know what it says. I wish I knew if that was the case of, that's why, like, the, uh... Okay, so there is that one. Uh, it's... <clears throat> it's a little distance out. The biggest problem is that it is through all this tree and that. I don't think I'm going to have a really nice, clear view like I did for that group we just seen. It could be a female all on her own, or it could be another little herd of them. Yeah, I'm not going to try to approach that spot any further. Just gonna see if I can get to an area where it's like a little bit better visibility, because me just wandering around in the bush isn't going to be all that helpful. Uh, truth be told, I don't think there's really even a reason to worry about the markers I put down. Okay, we got something making noise ahead, so maybe we'll try going more towards that. It is a fair distance out at 200 meters. So could be who we're looking for. I just got to try to get us to... 
Okay. Eh, it's opening up a little more. I might be able to try... Getting down through here. And then looking back in that direction. <sighs> there it went. God, like that's the thing, it being over, like close to 100 meters out. And having things running off on you can be tricky. I've got to get out. You know, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to walk us out of the bush and that. Once we get into the, all the trees and the thick of it, we are basically at a complete disadvantage. I thought being in them would help us a little more because it would help keep us from being seen. But it doesn't seem to matter all that much because the hearing is just so good on the animals. And yeah, it shouldn't be the wind because that's not uh, the direction it's blowing. Okay, so we got something out there. Uh, the only issue I have with going, like, in our super slow movement to try to see some of the stuff is just by the time we get close enough to see, uh, what we're after could well be completely walked off. And like that, I've got, again, the tree line is going to be completely blocking us. Okay, what is the lay of the land here? Uh, there is the waterway there. Maybe I should try to get to a better spot where I can see down along the river than trying to navigate through the trees. As bushwhacking is not really cutting it for us. And you know what, before I do too much movement... Yeah, no, even if I go slow, I don't think I'd be able to see all that much through this, so... I'm gonna try to get to an area that's a bit more open. And see about working down to the river there. At least along that, I'll have pretty good visibility. I might even have better visibility looking upwards, too. So instead of looking down through a lot of the treetops, which might be blocking and obstructing a lot. Uh, we got red deer across the way. Oh, but again, it's so far out there. And in the thick of it still. some ways, I kind of would have thought that, like, the species of deer would be a little more hesitant to be in, like, thick stuff. Just because, well, again, that assumes there are predators that'd be after them. New Zealand doesn't have that, so maybe that's... Or they just roam to. Okay, yeah, let me get down here. I do find it a little strange that, like, for all the times we have come along the river... Really? You're like 200 meters out! I can't even see you through the bush, and you're telling me they got alerted. With the wind in the opposite direction, too. Yeah, I... I feel like the way the hunter does need to have a little pass over, like how much noise the player makes, and how sensitive the animals are. I mean, I know I am playing on the Hunter difficulty, which is the second hardest, but some things still feel like they are kind of absurd for... Well, like the Red Deer, for example. Or if there is that the terrain the player is on does make noise, I want more feedback options so you know, okay. If you're on stone like this, you make a lot more noise than on grass. There's still, again, feels like a lot of the hunting games, I'm not sure if it's trying to not step on what the 
others have done or trying to stay apart. But I say just look at what works in others and try to see if you can bring that to yours too. Because without your feedback systems to know, like, what is it that set the animals off? Was it my movement or was it my sound? Was it being too upright and moving or... Was it that they spotted me visually? I have no idea to know. And... Uh, okay, what do I have inventory-wise? I can't remember if I have anything that can call sick a deer out. I apparently do. The elk caller, of all things, will actually work on them. But I think I'm going to basically be stuck walking the river for a little bit. Okay, yeah, see, there is something up there. It's 200 meters out. If it is a sick of deer making noise, I'd have to get within 150 for that. Uh, maybe I'll crouch down and just try to go up to the top of this hill and see. Okay, we got feral pig. That's yeah, just more pig drinking areas. Uh, ah, deer droppings something. Maybe whitetail? No, Sika. Says it looks fresh. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll try to stay low, just try to see if I can get up to a bit of a spot and see if I can call and bring something in. Yeah, the only issue is yeah, I don't know how close that sound was now that we've gotten up here. Like, I'd like to say that we won't make a lot of noise with this hill possibly blocking us, but there are some things where the game feels like it doesn't take the terrain into consideration for, like, how much distance and what effect it has on your movement. Or, like, what sounds you make to the animals being able to hear. Ah, <sighs> and whatever it is, it's going. God, everything wants to stay in, like, the worst spots for us. Uh, maybe I'll just follow the animal path here for a while and see if I can find it to uh, need zone. Just gotta remember, Way the Hunter isn't really about roaming and finding the animals just out and about in the field. It's more focused entirely upon their need zones and going to those at the right times of day. Or try to, as it is a little bit difficult at times to figure out where the animal paths are uh, going off to. So it looks like there's like all kinds of trails, and they're all sick, I hear. Oh, well, now we got pig crossing that way. Uh, nothing up in the open there. And then we've got this over here. Uh, I'm not sure what I should try pushing towards. The river look be an absolute bust. I mean, I've got these roads and these paths that do go through here. I guess, and there's like all kinds of like, it looks fresh, but that doesn't really give me anything time-wise of like, how long ago does fresh mean? Does it mean within the past hour, or does it mean like within the past three hours? 
Oh. Uh, I've got something that made a bit of noise up there. Try close in the distance and maybe even just try calling that in. <clears throat> it could well be a sick -a deer Of course, if it's a female, it's not going to reply or come in to us, but... Uh, let me get up to this little bush here, and then I'll make the call out and see. It's like, the only uh, tracks I am finding all over the place and droppings are from Sick of Deer. <clears throat> so we'll see if maybe I can bring something out of there. Even if I can just get a call back and I know, oh, okay, that's uh, this kind of species or whatever. Oh, okay, we do have a Sika coming through. Now, you know what? I'm going to go completely low. It says it's about 100 out. So it shouldn't be too long before it comes in. <clears throat> I just want to make sure I stay low. Because uh, I think I might have... Again, I do wish we had a little bit more feedback system for, like, how visible we are. And how much noise we're making. Just because I don't know if, like, this bush being beside it or in it will count is <clears throat> being a little more hidden or not to its uh, vision. Oh, the wind, though, is not helping me here. Looks like it's changed a bit of direction, so I'll have to mind that. But hopefully, It might make it alerted, but I don't know if that'll make the animal, uh, spooked, just by scent. <clears throat> I think if it were to pick me up by scent, and then it hears me or sees me, then it would be spooked. But I don't know how, uh, it kind of works. I heard the one call, <clears throat> and now it doesn't seem like anything's happening. I'll try to give it a little more time. But, ah, again, just... Try and be in the density of all the trees and such is not a good place. The good news, though, is I don't think it's run off because we haven't heard, like, a lot of crashing and thrashing through stuff. Okay, we got another sick of deer over there. I don't think that one is going to be affected by the caller. I think it's too far out distance-wise. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with the one that we just had call. I thought maybe we were bringing it in? But now it seems like for it only haven't been like around the hundred meters. I was expecting either another call or I would have seen it. And 
I don't know if I should try going for the one to the left and write this one off or keep at it. Ah. It's a bit of a tough call to make. I haven't heard anything else, so I'm just going to try crawling along for a while. I might even actually try going for the high fitness here. Alright, so another call from that over there. I'll try moving over a little bit. I thought... No, no, it's just... There was just a little bit of color that made me think there was something different up uh, that way. When I zoom in, yeah, it changes colors. So that's nothing. Okay, I have heard no other calls, responses, or seen any movement from where uh, the one up here was. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to do is head up a little bit here and then take a hard left. Ooh. Yeah, I see it was in there, but for whatever reason, it didn't want to come closer. Maybe that's what happens when it picks you up by scent, is that it kind of will stop and stay at a certain distance away from you. I don't know if it was actually a full run, though. But yeah, that seems like a little bit of an odd uh, bit of behavior for, like, if it was to run off, just a couple of things. Okay... You know, what I'll do is I'll get us into a spot to hide and ready for next episode, because trying to track these things down is actually taking a lot more time than I thought it had. This is kind of one of the reasons why I'm glad <clears throat> I'm able to do some longer videos, because there are certain titles that do kind of need it. But yeah, I'll just sit us under the tree here for now and end this first episode for the weekend right here. Hopefully next episode we can get this story cleared out and then we're into free hunting where I really need to practice my skills and abilities. But thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to in the comments right down below. Until I see you all next video episode, Hunters and Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.